Oh yeah, that's nice right there. Welcome back guys, this is Eric here from Moss Pawn and Gun. And today we're doing another gun review for you. We're gonna be talking about the Henry Repeating Arms Golden Boy. Uh, now a lot of you guys have been asking me to get into some lever action rifles on the channel. Well, here you go. Here's a lever action rifle. Um, very, very awesome gun. Um, I have to admit, when I get into gun reviews, I tend to take the gun and shoot it a lot at my house, get used to it, and uh, kind of get a feel for the gun before I bring it out and uh, do a video on it. Well, uh, Saturday I got the rifle in. I went home and I shot about a thousand rounds of Federal Auto Match out of it because it was just that much fun. You know, I'm a 22 kind of guy. I really enjoy 22s. I grew up shooting a lot of 22s. And this thing just lends itself so well to just loading it up, shooting it, and enjoying it. Just an awesome 22. We got a gorgeously fitted walnut stock, brass butt plate. Uh, the receiver itself is aluminum, uh, but with the aluminum, it has a brass uh, type cover, polished brass. So it's not solid brass, but you do have aluminum receiver. Cuts down on the weight a lot not to mention the cost of the rifle, which is nice. Uh, these things can generally be had for around four bills, which in my opinion is an excellent value. You've got an octagonal barrel. It's tubular fed. You've got buckhorn rear sight with a brass bead on the front, which picks up real nice. Um, some people are not a fan of buckhorn sights. I personally have been working with this quite a bit. I don't mind it. Um, the throw of the lever is very smooth and positive. I mean, once you get down to, you know, get the muscle memory down, you can really work this thing fast and it's very intuitive. Um, it, you don't really feel like you're, you're forcing yourself to work something. It's just, it feels very natural and intuitive once you get used to it. Uh, they offer this particular gun in two different varieties. You've got the Golden Boy, which you see here, and they offer a Golden Boy youth model, which is a lot smaller. This particular rifle is right at home for a full adult shooter or you know, a larger child. If you've got somebody that's a little bit smaller, you might want to consider the youth model. Uh, we're going to load the gun and uh, shoot it some more. Now in the intro there, what you saw was a couple of tracer rounds. Uh, those are from Piney Mountain and those are high velocity tracer. So I don't know if you noticed there, but the magazine, it, it, uh, the tube actually releases just like any other type of tubular fed rifle. You've got a notch that interfaces, rotate it, Lift it out, remove it, make sure the action is shut. Of course, verifying that the chamber is empty, hammer down and on half cock. The gun does not have a manual safety. It's got a half cock, which is the way it's supposed to be set up. Any lever action that's got a cross bolt safety or button safety or a little bull crap on top of the gun, you don't need all that. Half cock, that is the intended safety for a lever action rifle. Remove the magazine tube. There's a window right here with a cutout for the rim. Drop the cartridges in with the nose facing out, the direction they're gonna feed, obviously. And uh, we're basically just gonna fill this little guy up. But this, this gun has just been a wonderful shooter. I've really been enjoying it so far. Uh, we are going to be firing a variety of ammunition out of it for you today, uh, Chad and I both. And we're also gonna shoot some groups for you so you can see what kind of uh, inherent accuracy potential uh, we have to work with. You saw the tracers, we're gonna run the auto match here. And uh, I've got some sodas and clays and all kind of random stuff out here we're gonna shoot for you. And then uh, we're gonna turn her over. Um, it holds 15 rounds plus one, actually 16 plus one. That was 16 rounds, I'll verify that count in a minute. I think it holds 24 shorts, which is kind of cool. So replacing the magazine tube, uh, rotate it back into lock position, cock the rifle, Hammer's drawn back when you, when you cock it, it's ready to shoot. If you're gonna walk around with the gun, with a round in the chamber or whatever, thumb the hammer down, release, drop, and you're already in half cock. You wanna shoot it, half cock, or a full cock, you're ready to shoot. All right, I'll tell you what, let's see if this auto match will knock down our auto popper here. See if he'll fall down. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, almost. <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's try our clays there. Well, it went right through the center of it, didn't it? Oh, yeah. There's one. Right over the side of it. Right over the top. There it went. There it is. All 
All right, not so bad. Uh, I hit all those other ones that just went through the center and didn't break the clay. Uh, but that little round carries enough energy to knock that big old plate over, which I was pretty surprised about. Uh, we do have some sodas there on the back, so let me uh, reload while I'm talking here. We're gonna run another tube of auto match, and this time I'm gonna count the rounds for you guys. So let's see, we're at one, Three and 15, 16. 16 rounds of 22 LR with one in the chamber makes 17 total. All right. All right, we got topped off with auto match. Let's, uh, let's take out some of our sodas down there. We've got standard 12 ounce soda cans. Let's see how well they blow up with this lead nose bullet hitting it. Hopefully I can hit them. We're about 20, I think 21 or 22 yards away. So not too far. You know, this is squirrel distance. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That's it. Right over to the side there. Oh yeah. It's a very intuitive rifle to point and shoot. It just does so nice. Um, once you just get used to it, it is such a smooth shooting little gun. And I tell you, I fired those thousand rounds the other day and then what I've shot here and I haven't had a single malfunction yet. Of course, now watch me jinx that. Let's see. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh, knocked him over. Okay, good. Let's see if we can hit him falling down there. Out of ammo. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a moment to reset the range. We'll get be right back, and we'll run some shorts. How about that? All right, guys, we got a whole group of bandit marauders, and all I could find was some 22 short. We got 24 rounds of 22 short in this little guy. It's like the mag that just keeps on going in the tubular gun here. Uh, this gun, by the way, is chambered for short. Longs or long rifle. You can shoot anything you want out of it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go for a little speed and see if I can't take these guys out before they get close to me here. Here we go. Oh yeah. Got them all, I only missed once. Little thing is so fun to shoot, guys. All right, guys, we've been out here shooting the Henry Golden Boy today and it's running pretty nice. Uh, as you know, lever actions tend to lend themselves quite well to pretty uh, good feats of speed, all right? Uh, you guys know I'm an infield aficionado. I love the Lee infield. It's a fast bolt action, it's really fast to shoot. I'm gonna see how quick I can run this little lever action and actually hit my target and try to do right here, but uh, these things have a tendency to run pretty quick if you do them right. Let's try it. I'm gonna go for just a good consistency here. Kinda one of those muscle memory things. Once you get down, uh, down to it, if you look at the slow-mo, you'll see that the hammer kinda drops as the bolt goes forward. You get the muscle memory down and get it just right, and get your, get your timing just right, you can really empty one of these uh, pretty dang quick. I'm gonna try one more time. That's not horribly shabby. Let's try again. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. We got an 18 by 24 inch gong at 15 yards. Now, if you look at some of the cowboy action guys that do this stuff really quick, some of their rifles are actually modified to have a much shorter throw. When you watch those guys doing cowboy action stuff and they're running these things ridiculously fast, they usually have highly modified rifles that are designed for running the gun a lot quicker. We're gonna try again, 15 yards, 18 by 24, real simple. All right, I'm gonna go for kind of smooth and fast, get into a rhythm here, see if we can do it without choking. certainly do it. It just takes a little bit of 
a little bit of practice there. I think on a couple of those, I wasn't bringing the uh, lever back all the way to eject the case. And what was happening is I was short stroking it and then putting the uh, fired round just back in the chamber and then striking it again. So that's what was happening there. Again, muscle memory, guys. Like Jerry says, you know, uh, if you minimize your movements, you mac maximize your speed. It's certainly true with any gun, regardless whether it's lever action, pistol, anything. It's all about developing that muscle memory and getting the speed down, and then your consistency comes. You know, get your consistency down, your muscle memory, your movements down, and then the speed and accuracy comes with practice. Pretty cool. Let's move on. All right, guys. Well, Eric showed you just how much fun this little rifle is. I'm going to have a little bit of fun myself. This thing is a great shooter. If you guys ever uh, shot a 22 lever gun, they're just wonderful guns. They'll run anything you throw in them, and uh, they're just classic. I mean, this gun's just got a really nice classic appearance to it. It just can't be beat, but let's do a little bit of work here. See what we can do with this uh, golden boy. All right, let's see here. Let's go for those, some of those sodas on the ground. I got a few rounds left. Oh! Oh, there we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish taking out our two liters on the ground there, and then I'm gonna take a couple of shots at our gophers. We got one at about 25 yards, and then another one up at the top. He's about 50 yards away. Um, kind of a small target, but you know, always fun to try it out with 22s. Let's take out these sodas here. Uh -oh, right over the top. <laughs> Things are still spraying. <laughs> All right, let's go for our gopher right up here by the railroad tie. There we go. All right, let's go for the one at 50 yards up top there. There we go. Right over the top of his head. Oh man. All right, let me reload. Get back on that gopher there. He's not getting away from me. All right, let me see if I can take a few more shots at our gopher up top. That front bead pretty much covers up the entire target, so a little bit hard to hit. Take out some of these sodas on the back uh, railroad tie here, and I'm gonna move on to some tracers and uh, shoot those a little bit longer range. Okay guys, we got some Piney Mountain Red Tracers loaded up in here. We've got a couple of targets up at about 100 yards. Got our 22 inch round that we shoot all the time and we've got the eight inch Magnum popper. Now this little 22 isn't going to really knock that popper over at all, but you should be able to hear a little bit of a ting. And uh, with the tracers, you'll be able to see the trajectory of this 22 at longer range. Let's go for that 22 round first. Right over the top, aiming a little bit too high. Whoa, that one kind of zung over to the left. <laughs> All right, let's go for that eight inch magnum popper to the left there. There we go.
you know, these tracers aren't the most consistent as far as accuracy is concerned, but you can really see that 22 arc out there at 100 yards. You can see the trajectory pretty well. Okay, guys, well, we moved up to the top of the hill to the bench here, and yet again, we forgot the shooting rest, so we've got a hasty rest here. But anyways, we're going to shoot 10 shots of Lapua Center X, 50 yards, and we've got one of the little champion gopher targets. The target I'm going to be aiming at is a one-minute orange dot with a three-minute circle around it. So kind of a fine point of aim for iron sights, especially like this with this big brass bead on it. And I'm going to do a bullseye hold. So the rounds may not land exactly in the center, but give a good indication of how well this rifle will group with quality ammunition. And this uh, Lapua is known for grouping very well. Out of my match grade 1022, this stuff consistently throws about a quarter inch group at 50 yards. So great stuff. Let's give it a whirl. I think that's it. All right, let's go down and take a look. It looks like Chad grouped about three inches at 50 yards with 10 shots of center X. Certainly not a bad group for iron sights. Pretty neat little gun here. Certainly accurate enough to take squirrels. I'm gonna follow suit and I'm gonna fire a 10 shot group and uh, we'll see how good I can fare with the little Henry here. I'm gonna follow uh, suit with you, Chad, and I'm just gonna use the bulls I hold as well. Because uh, these, you know, these sights aren't bad, but they're definitely not fine sights. They're not very tiny, so not very conducive to shooting tiny groups.
all out. All right, let's see how we did. Well, looking at the group that I posted there, about two minutes, certainly not bad for 50 yards. We are using some pretty expensive ammo there. Um, we'll probably end up doing some more accuracy work with the gun in the future, but uh, let's move on. I'm pretty impressed with the accuracy so far. That's certainly a squirrel slayer. I don't care how you run it. You're gonna take down any squirrel you can uh, see with this thing inside of 50 yards. So uh, certainly not bad, let's move on. Well guys, our little Henry Golden Boy has been running really nice today. We've seen the uh, accuracy potential at 50 yards. We've seen a little bit of practical accuracy testing. And I tell you what, besides accuracy, sometimes it's nice to just get some, some soda cans and some clays and just have fun behind the 22. And I think that's really what uh, this type of firearm, for me at least, embodies. Is, uh, it's, it's good classic American craftsmanship. These are American made, in case I didn't mention before. And uh, it's just an awesome little gun, you know. It's something you can take out to the range and people go, wow, look at that. You know, that golden receiver just shining and just looks so cool. And, you know, I've never been one for, for rifles that really exhibit like that, that kind of like classic beauty as much. I've always been into more like military surplus and European military stuff, which don't get me wrong, they're beautiful guns in their own right and they're works of art. Um, but in my opinion, a rifle like this really is kind of like a little miniature work of art that you can take out and shoot and enjoy. Uh, we're going to shoot a little bit more here. I'm going to go for some speed. Um, I'm going to run tracers for you here at close range. We'll finish her out here. But uh, little golden boy has been a real charm to shoot. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's, let's do it. zip well guys we really appreciate you watching today's video if you ever have a chance to shoot one of these even if you don't buy one even if it's a buddy you've got to get your hands on one of these and try it out they are so much fun this really kind of brings plinking back in my opinion um, there's a lot of 22s out there but this golden boy if i ever go out just to shoot for pleasure you better believe it's going in the uh in the range kit with me have a good one guys thanks for watching many more gun reviews on the way I appreciate your time. We'll catch you next time.